chance for Port Adelaide to power. With the for Port fans, this was a night to savour. The night Collingwood hit town and the Power Boys hit their straps. So Pool directly in front. From 35 metres out. You'll hear the roar. Comes away. Just pumps the ball deep back. He's looking for coming over the top. It was Richardson at ground level. Michael trying to crash his way through. Port by Franco. So Franco's kicked 10 goals for the season. He's drilled it. Gavin Brown still barking instructions. Inspirational leader. Paul. Wanganeen and Cummings, three goals each. Primus, Wanganeen and Eagleton among the best. Can't quite obtain front spot. Eagleton wobbles it. Centre square. Dickey pumps the ball back towards centre half forward. Good punch away by Watson at ground level. Wilson, what a star he's been this year. Great vision, sets it up and finds Heaver. But so far, they're quick and hard at ground level port. That's why they're winning the game. So Heaver runs very close to the man on the mark. He's a dead eye dick. <laughs> ball thumped out of the centre. Huskus traps it inside the centre square. A loose player. It's Wanganeen. Can he set it up? He goes long looking for Scotty Cummings in front. Too tall. He's got it. Great grab. Well, Scotty Cummings. He's kicked 45 goals for the year. He's drilled it. Chance for Chris Siska to Wild. Pushed as he kicked the ball. Eagleton caught by Chris Siska, thrown to the ground. Strong arm tactics. James plays the hand pass. He can have a shot. He can kick a goal. Ten goals straight into the second term. Accuracy, discipline and performance. Poor old Collingwood didn't know what had hit them. Hot off a 100-point win over Fremantle, the Magpies had no answer to the ruck supremacy of Matthew Primus. They watched Shane Brewer successfully tag Nathan Buckley out of the game. This raking left footer. So Francis gains a few metres, then kicks the ball long, especially to the centre of the ground. Three kicks being given away. Advantage. They've paid the advantage, so here's a chance now out in front is Cummings. Might have to give a pay rise to the kicking coach. So Scotty Cummings. A long driving bomb in towards Scotty Cummings. Oh, danger here. Went it down as Brent Heaver. You better not miss. And he does it. Ten straight. So Paxman down towards Cummings. Punched away by Michael at ground level. It was pounced on by Eagleton. Back to me. Down from centre half back. He can kick a goal. Look at the excitement of they're quicker with the ball at ground level when they do get it in their hands, so it's a real struggle for Collingwood at present. Ball power by 42 points, it could be 48 coming up. Ball comes back, grew up, put black range, bangs it through. That defence has been good all night. Daniels kicks the ball long out of defence. There's the mark, taken by Cotton. Can he set it up? Great handball to Brewer. He can go over the top. Here's a goal coming up. Franco, bang! one into the pocket Shane Brewer well, maybe his second one but he's been very very quiet in fact hasn't bothered the statistician 
Look at this kick from uh, Sean Crowley. The hurry kick is by Carter, but it's okay. They can set something up here as they run it out of the middle, up towards the centre half forward, and the mark is taken by Lane. Spent a lot of time on the bench, Brendan Lay, tonight. But gee, he's a, he's a good player. He heads for home. Oh, Cummings is alive. A 53-point win, the ninth for the season, and a place in the top eight with a four-point buffer. Ten different goal kickers, with Cummings kicking four. The best, Primus, Francis and Brewer. Power, very keen for their first goal. There was some justice for former Bombers, Gavin Wanganeen and Scott Cummings, when they lined up at the home of football for the round 17 clash against Essendon. Wanganeen repaid the criticism 